Hi guys, Chris Graham here for We Love Betting, talking something very, 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 very close to my heart. No, no, not Polish football. The the referendum next Thursday in Scotland, the Scottish independence referendum. Is there a betting angle on that? Of course there is. There's a betting angle on everything, stupid. So let's talk about that. Let me just begin <laughs> and go back, go back to last year. I'll, I'll take you th through some of the history of the odds and intersperse that with some personal thoughts. Let's get straight into this. 2013, yes, the yes vote was was getting chalked up between five to two and three to one in the betting. That's been consistently for the whole of last year uh, and the first half of this year. Then, when the referendum started to get close towards May and June of this year, the odds drifted. They came came as big as ninety two in June. I'll tell you why June was a special month for me. I was up up twice in Scotland, two weekends, and one of those weekends was a school reunion. Uh, weekend and I, I spoke to pretty much every one of the classmates that attended that night and I asked them their opinion on whether they were voting yes or no and pretty much every single one of them said no with the exception of one girl, Alison Roberts, the rest of the people said no, um, they were voting no and I, and I left that Monday on the train back to London thinking it was a complete lost cause. 92, you could have made it 92 to 1 as far as I'm concerned for yes, it ain't happening. And that was backed up into June and into, into, into July. The Commonwealth Games took place in July. Didn't have any effect on the betting. I thought it would. In fact, it made things worse. And when you look at the, you watch the opening ceremony, you can certainly understand that. That's for sure. A poll on August the seventh by what Scotland thinks produced a, a result of just thirty two percent of people voting yes. So the cause was pretty much um, a hopeless one if you were a yes campaigner. But then something changed in mid August, and what the change was, I think was the result of the second debate between Alistair Darling and Alex Salmon. Alex Salmon pretty much destroyed him that night, and that got people thinking. First on social media, I noticed a real change. The no people, the no people on my personal Facebook, I appreciate it's a very, very small sample, but I'm just relaying personal experiences. The people that were shouting about no all the time suddenly shut up, and suddenly there was a surge in, in, in yes people talking about talking up Scotland and talking about what could be achieved here. And that, that really kicked in in social media. And then it kicked in in the betting as well from late August. It went from 6 to 1, and it 5 to 1, and it 4 to 1, and it 3 to 1 for yes. Halved in price uh, by, by, by early September. Uh, Alex Salmon was, getting, was connecting more with the, with the people. And um, you know you look at some of the poll results uh, over the last two weeks. Yes, 42% on August 28th. 47% on September the first day. We realised we've got a fight on here. And then incredibly, 51% on Saturday night shook the roots of this country on Saturday night. That YouGov poll, which changed everything. And all in the, almost in the blink of an eye, yes, went from 72 into as short as 75 with B win in the early hours of Sunday morning. I tracked it. It was extraordinary. A real move towards yes. And that momentum for me has continued through to Saturday until yesterday, until yesterday. And we got the next poll results through, and that was 53% no, 47% yes. So a six point lead from no. And personally speaking, surveying the events of the last 24 hours, and believe me, I'm living, breathing this. And every second of the day, I think the wind has been taken at the sails of the yes camp. I really believe that. Uh, suddenly, these the no people on social media are popping up, are popping up with their messages. And despite the fact, this is despite the fact that the, the, the UK government embarrassing themselves by coming up to Scotland and wait, you know, putting the salt tire up at Downing Street, one of the most patronising things I've ever seen in my life. But despite that, the the emphasis seems to be the no campaign. The wind seems to be taken at the yes campaign. That's my opinion, and I think this is normality returning. I really believe that. People have had a, they've had a feel, they've had a sniff of the future, and they've backed off. They've, had, they've backed off of this independence. They've seen it, they've felt it. They thought, oh, it sounds great, but I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. It's, it's a, in some ways, it's a typical Scottish trait. I myself, I'm like that, you know? A bit like Scotland on Sunday night. You watched them against Germany. You watched them, I watched them. Came back to 1 1. We thought we were in a chance here within two minutes. Within two minutes, they were behind the game. And that is something, there's something Scottish about that. I feel that. And, um, I think we're heading towards a no. 
and, and there's another couple of factors here. The silent no's. The silent no's. Don't forget about them. There's nothing... If you want to be fashionable and, 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 and trendy than in Scotland, I get the impression it's, it's to be a yes voter. It's to stand up and say, we want a new Scotland. And it's people... People are frightened, probably, like we've seen in social media, frightened to actually speak up and say, "Hi, I'm voting yes." There's a certain, there's a certain I'm voting no. There's a certain element of that to me. But they'll they'll come in the ballot box next Thursday. And they'll just vote no. They'll have been quiet for the last two years, and they'll walk in and vote no. Similar to people who vote conservative, uh, certainly, I think I get that impression in England. The, the silent Tories, and I think we've got the silent no's here as well. I think we could be in for an anticlimactic night next week. You think back to the 2010 general election, everyone was talking about the Lib Dems making great progress. It never happened, despite what the polls, despite what the media said. That could be the case again next Thursday night. So for that reason, for that reason, I have backed um, 40 to 45 percent yes for next Thursday. I backed it last night, 3 1 the bet 365. It's currently 11 to 4 best price with Lab Brooks. That for me is the bet in this epic, epic event, the most historic uh, event in my lifetime, that's for sure. Good day.